Hey everybody, how are we doing? It's me, Joe Salyers, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I want to talk to you about something that just popped up in a mix I was working on. Sorry that only half of Logic is on the screen, but for me to get a 4K basic box here to record, I had to cut out the right side of Logic. It doesn't matter. We can see the inspector and the plugins we're going to use, so that's all that really matters. This is a really simple, quick tutorial for those of you who deal with live audio recorded from you know musicians so i was going through this mix here and just setting it up and i was listening to the snare drum that sounds pretty good but when i put the hi-hat in all the low end went away and i thought well that's kind of strange so what I did was I zoomed in and looked and noticed that the hi-hat is out of phase with the snare drum. Now, the hi-hat would be the closest mic to the snare drum mic. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of bleed, as you can hear. You can hear a little bit of the kick drum. You can hear a little bit of the, the snare drum. So they're all in there, right? All right, so... What I did was, after seeing that, I grabbed the gain plugin in Logic. Some of them have, some of the other DAWs have different plugins with different names, right? But basically, what we're going to do is just flip the phase on the hi hat microphone. First, I'll play it with the phase the way it is as it was recorded. And then I will flip the phase or invert the polarity, however you want to say it. It means the same thing on just the hi hat track. And you'll notice that the snare goes from sounding kind of high pitched with no thump to getting all the low end back that disappears because it was out of phase. So before you add any plugins or do anything after your initial gain stage of the entire project, okay, check for phase issues between microphones, especially drums, because you have multiple microphones around a drum kit. You'll have snare mics. You'll have overheads. You'll have tom mics, kick drum mics, room mics. Sometimes you'll have multiple sets of room mics. Check phase against everything. Usually what I do is I check my overheads versus the snare and kick just to make sure that they're all in phase with each other. I rarely use a hi-hat mic, but on this mix, they had used a hi-hat mic. And in this case, it has caused the snare to be out of phase with the rest of the snare drum. So once again, I'll let you hear it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope to see you again. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to learn more of these things about DAWs such as Logic, Pro Tools, Reaper, and all these other you know mixing and mastering tutorials right here at the Music Factory. Give it a thumbs up if you can. That's surely appreciated. And we'll do phase in and out once again so you can really hear what it's doing. Out of phase, we have no low end. And the snare drum sounds weak. Yeah, that's weak. But if we flip the phase of the hi-hat mic, we have a powerful snare again. Okay, well, A, B here real quick. All right, we'll see you again, guys and gals. Have a great day, y'all.